up, everybody? Welcome back to Jack TV. This is your boy, Joey Badass, and here we are, episode four, man, and I'm real tired. I woke up at like seven o'clock today. I don't ever wake up at seven o'clock in the morning, man. It's, it's always around 3.34. It's been an exhausting last 19 hours. We had a total of five repro orders we had to get. Two of them are still here. I know y'all remember this one. Just got this one. It was a bitch. I chased her from Rehoboth all the way down to fucking Laurel, Delaware. Wasn't cool. I'm trying to ooh, slide through. And uh, got these two junk cars right here. Toyota, Hyundai Accent. Both of them run, start, drive. Hyundai needs it needs a new battery though. It, it, it's half ass leg, but they both run, drive. This motherfucker, he just bought a new work van and had it sitting at a friend's house and didn't want it no more. I paid 250 for each of them. Clean titles. I don't know how clean the insides are. I locked them, I locked them up. But yeah, this one just has high miles, 300,000. But there ain't no dents, dings, or nothing on this fucking junk car, man. It just needs to be cleaned up. Look at this thing. So, if y'all catch me before I sell them, holla at me, man. Toyota camera right here. It's nice, man. Clean. Still got that uh, GMC, too. Not gonna hold y'all long, man. Make sure y'all press that like button. Hit that subscribe button. If you're new to the channel, thank you for watching. Make sure y'all stay and join. Appreciate everybody watching, man. Views are going up again. I'm loving it, dude. The repos are helping. Maybe I am getting back in the repos. Who knows, but uh, back to the episode. All right, guys, I just got out the gym up here in Preston. Nice little background scenery. Did a nice little chest workout today. Uh, had to cut it a little bit short because I wanted to get up to Donovan's Junkyard in Georgetown. It takes about an hour from here. So I want to get up there by eight o'clock. By the time they open, I'm going to take this first junk car, this Mazda 3. I'm going to drop that off and then they're going to have a truck or two follow me and then bring the other two or three cars, however many I decide, if I give them that Honda or not. But most likely, I'm probably going to give them the Honda. Got to get it out the lot. Got to free up space. The yard's getting full, so... uh we got to get a lot of stuff moved, but that's four junk cars right now. I'm not even going to bother cutting the cats off right now because I got to just stick and move and have been so busy. I haven't been able to get to the cats at the lot, so he's going to give me $5.50 a piece for each car the way they sit. So figured that wasn't too bad. This is what we got, y'all. Everything's still on it. These Mazdas right here, they have... It's all messed up under there, but they got two cats. The Explorer I got has two cats. I think the Buick has one, maybe two. Like this one, the second cat up there, it's it's impossible to get to. You got to take a bunch of shit out and everything, and it, it's just not worth it in the end. But this was a nice car, but needed a whole new engine. But the thing is, with these engines for this year and this model, they're expensive and just not worth it to put in, they say. Everything's working great. Dynamic did say check your fittings in about like 30 days, all your fittings and everything. This one was leaking a little bit right there, and I was asking about it, and he was like, yes, um, about every 30 days after they uh, do that, it will start to leak and just come loose just from settling in and everything. So he just said, all you got to do is just take a wrench, tighten them all up, and I did, and since then it's been good. But that was the only one that I seen. There wasn't anyone else or any other uh, fitting. But, man, yeah, guys, we're going to uh, get loaded up. I got to stop and get my ass a coffee. This one works, but the left turn signal on here isn't the greatest. Huh? Let's see how it does. It's a little cheaper. 73 bucks. That's some good shit. Let's get that 7 8 pole. Alright guys, we're out back in the junkyard right now. We just got that Mazda dropped off. We got the title here, getting ready to go in to get a good payment. We got four cars we're doing today. I brought one up here. They're going to come and get the other three, see how they go. Yeah, we're waiting for a payout. There's a guy in there waiting to get his cash, so I just came outside real quick you guys in. I'll update you guys when I actually get the receipt of everything and tell you what we weighed. But my truck, just by itself, the way it sits right now, full tank of gas, weighs 9,800 even. All right, guys, just got this one lifted up. We made 500 off of the one Mazda. 
all together in all four vehicles I have $450 so we're already $50 in the positive we're going to be getting 500 for each car but I am going to be taking the cats off of these car or this Honda because it's potential about an extra thousand bucks so let's get to work boys so we're waiting for Donovan's to come they're going to go ahead and take all three of these. We have a total of $425 and everything, so we're already in the profit, $75, because we made $500 off that Mazda earlier. So we're doing pretty good so far, so let's see what we yield on all of them. There they are. Two of them right now. They're coming back for this one. All right, so how they're going to do this, because the... Red one didn't have a title. Sorry, there's bees everywhere, man. There's bees all inside that horn, uh, Honda Pilot. <laughs> all right, now I'm not dodging bees. They are going to um, go weigh the red one because it doesn't have a title or Cadillac converter on it. So they will weigh that one and just give me the regular scrap price for that. And then come back, grab this Explorer pay me for both explorer doesn't have the title with that one it's only going to be about 350. got the whole freaking lot cleared except that car but that's our roadside car that's going back on the road here eventually they're all gone made a great great return on it all about 2600 all said and done for all four cars I put out a total of 425. Y'all do the math, I'm not gonna do it for you. If you can't do it, then you shouldn't be in business. We got a honk call right now to go to. We did an accident call earlier in the middle of uh, waiting for them calls. We did an accident call earlier and uh, we got a total of uh, 700 and some dollars for that. I got this honk call another lockbox tow i'm just going to go pick the car up now and then take the car over the bridge tomorrow as of right now that's pulling in 350 puts it in for a total of uh four thousand dollars i made today this is one of the biggest paydays i've had as an owner operator and it's all coming pretty fast but i had a goal and i stuck to it once i put out ten thousand dollars for that lift right there shit, there's bees everywhere my bad guys once i put out ten thousand dollars for that lift right there I knew I wasn't gonna settle for any more cheap calls. Know your worth, people, and I promise you, it'll take off. Just stand your ground. You might go a week, maybe two weeks, with little work, with little pay, but it'll pay off in the end. Just know your worth, stand your ground, and once people see you're taking off, you're good. Of course, you guys see who this is for. Carvana, another lockbox too. I guess this is actually one of their drivers who uh, broke down. They got damage right there. Yeah, this is one of their driver cars. Go ahead and get these keys out. So we obviously see what the hell they've done did here is pop the tire and we can't get any lower than that. But it looks like they might have hit something right here. They hit something. I don't know what the fuck they hit, but they hit something. I literally have to take out all this shit to get my jack. I'm building a jack box on the back of here. That's how you do that. Even when your jack wants to get in the way, just kick that motherfucker out the way. Fuck that goddamn jack. Piece of shit. I made fucking four fucking thousand dollars today, y'all. Go fucking grind. Know your worth. Go with one more walk around, y'all. Got the tow light on. Everything looks good. We just got that one flat tire up here in the front, so let's get it up. Just got ourselves two more. I was gonna film, but it's like 96 out here, feeling like 108. Didn't film the loading process and all that. Had a bunch of hornets and everything to deal with. I wasn't going through all that. Plus, we were in a direct sunlight, so I wouldn't even have got a clear shot to begin with. We got uh, an 03 and an 02 Isuzu Axiom. Everything's still intact as far as the engine, all that stuff. It's just little stuff missing off one. He was using one as a parts car and one as whatever. Never ended up getting it fixed up. Ended up getting them for $300 a piece with the title, so... Like I said, if you're around this area and you guys are watching this and you guys got some junk cars, just hit me up because I buy them all. As long as it is a complete car. Like these fenders are inside the car and stuff like that. As long 
as it's a complete car. You know what I mean? I mean, it could be beat up and it could be wrecked. It can be, you know what I mean, pretty messed up. But, I mean, it can't be missing like tires and exhaust and shit like that. If it's with a title, I'll give you up to $300. But like I said, guys, there's a lot of different content coming to this channel. We're going to be dealing a lot in junk cars. We're going to be dealing a lot in impounds, getting a little with the repossessions. We're, we're getting a little out of that because I'm trying to get impounds and all that stuff heavy. Got a few surprises for y'all too in the store of everything. We're going to be doing a lot this year. By the end of the year, within the next uh, couple months anyway, but by the end of the year, we will have accomplished so much. You guys ain't even going to realize how much we accomplished, man. And the videos are going to be coming on every Monday. As you already know. I got 50 We Buy Junk Car signs. I got at least half of them up around here just in case people rip them up. Because some of them have already been ripped up. I've been had one phone call. Can't do this on my property. Which I tried them just put them on state property and stuff like that. Stop signs or friends properties and stuff like that. Without further ado, let's look. This is just one of the signs right here. This is one example of one. Get straight to the point, towing, impounds, roadside, and then towing, impounds. I love it. But we'll get these signs up in front of friends' houses, in front of just different companies. I'll just ask to put them everywhere, you know what I mean? I'll ask everybody if I could just put a sign out there. Together, we could really change this industry. We all got to stick together. Don't hate on each other. Don't say, oh, well, you should have done it this way or this way or do that, this, and do that. Nah, everybody's different. Everybody has a different rhythm. Everybody just does different things. People might hook up different. Some people might be slower. Some people might be faster. Some people might be quicker. It doesn't matter. You know what I mean? As long as you get the job done safely, it doesn't matter what you can do, what you can't do. Like, it's not a competition. It's not a ratio. It's nothing like that. Treat each other like you guys want to be treated. You know what I mean? Don't go around hating on somebody. But as soon as I stuck to my gut and kept my word and hustled and put up all these signs and did all this stuff, I'm telling you, it paid off because now I get so much money. I, man, I can't even see straight. I can't even see straight. I'm telling you, y'all, like, listen to me. Know your worth. Stick to your guts. Let's get these rates back up. Let, come on, man. I want that mansion. No, 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 no. No, 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 no.